insight tonight into the mindset of one of America's most infamous killers. The former girlfriend of Robert Durst says she saw some troubling warning signs long before he even met his alleged first victim and it haunted her for years. She's sharing her story publicly for the very first time with our senior investigative reporter Tara Rosenblum. Long before Robert Durst was convicted of killing his best friend Susan Berman in California. Guilty of the crime of first degree murder. Admitted to dismembering his neighbor Morris Black in Texas. He's fairly skilled with guns. And faced charges for the murder of his first wife Kathy in Westchester. And the family obviously wants and needs closure. The billionaire developer's son was smitten with a 20 year old student from Rye, New York. What do you want people to know by sharing your story here now for the first time? Just how sad it all is. The mental illness that he had. And there were good things about him and they were all lost. Penny Goldsmith and Robert Durst. That's me and that's Bob. Were college sweethearts back in the 60s. He was unlike anybody I'd ever met. Both from Westchester, the couple actually first crossed paths on a mission trip to Israel. There definitely was a chemistry that I think we both felt, and it was exciting. Penny was a student at Wheelock College in Boston, and Robert a graduate student at UCLA. So the couple dated long distance for a year and a half, including a memorable 10-day visit to California, where she says Robert couldn't wait to introduce Penny to his best friend, Susan Berman. What's the one thing you remember about her? That they seem to be truly best friends. And it was important to him that I meet her. Soon after that introduction on the West Coast, the couple traveled to the East Coast and introduced one another to their families. I remember meeting his father and it, and his brother and sister, and people seemed to get along at that point. But it was a different story when Penny introduced Robert to her parents. My mother perceived him to be an unhappy human being, and it really concerned her. A few months later, Penny says Robert did something that confirmed those concerns. I got a letter from him, and it, it started out that he was driving and he stopped to pick up a hitchhiker and there was a gun in the car. The hitchhiker picked the gun up and pointed it at Bob and said, I'm going to kill you. And Bob said, so kill me, then I'll be dead. What's dead? I don't care. And I found it really frightening. It was that life had no meaning. She remembers showing the letter to her psychology professor at the time, noted author Nicholas Groth, who told her exactly how to respond. Said, you can't see him again. He's a sociopath. Penny says she broke up with Robert the next day. Then, later that year, claims she received a phone call out of the blue that still haunts her to this day. And he called me one night and said, I want to see you come up to South Salem now. And he said, then take a train, go to Grand Central. I'll pick you up at the Katona station. And I've always wondered what would have happened had I gone that night. I think if I had gone up to South Salem that night, he would have killed me. Just a few years later, the woman Robert Durst did go on to marry, Kathy McCormick vanished into the night after he says he dropped her off at the very same train station he directed Penny to meet him at. Durst is now facing a murder charge in Westchester four decades later. I hope it brings some comfort to Kathy's family. It will certainly give comfort to Penny Goldsmith. Tara Rosenblum, News 12. Now, Robert Durst cannot be reached for comment on this story, but to catch up on the murder and mayhem surrounding the real estate air, you can head to news12.com and click on the Turn to Tara tab. And for a more in-depth look into the life of Robert Durst and the still unsolved disappearance of his wife, Kathy, you can check out a special News 12 true crime documentary, Robert Durst Buried Secrets. We share family secrets and shocking revelations from Kathy's recently uncovered journal that shed new light on this decades old case. Watch Robert Durr's Buried Secrets streaming tomorrow through Sunday on Pluto TV News. We'll